Hello, this is Seth from Northland Dodge and Prince George, and today we're taking a look at a 2015 Jeep Patriot. Under the hood, we have a 2.4 liter i4 dual VVT engine and a six speed automatic transmission. Now let's take a look around. Right off the bat, you have the Jeep logo right in the front and the grille that just shows that it is a Jeep as well. You have some very, very bright halogen uh, brand headlights, as well it comes with mud and snow tires, and it still has a ton of tread left on them. Look at those guys. Perfect for that winter coming up. Up top here, you do have your roof racks in the matte black. So if you do want to take something out or if you got some toys to take out, they're right there for you. And there is your 2.4 dual VVT engine. As well, it does come with a engine block heater. Now let's take a look around back here. We have the Jeep logo there as well as the 4x4 logo. Now let's open it up. There is a handle just under here. You pop that and you open it up as long as it's unlocked. Now you actually have a ton of room back here as well. You can push the seats forward and then you have a bit more room. Under here is your spare tire, so you just gotta lift that guy up and there it is. You got a bit of storage space there as well. Now let's jump on in. We got our key here. So you just put in the lock and unlock it and then you're in you go. Now on the door here, you do have the chrome accented uh, door handle there, as well as it is a manual uh, window. And you got a bit of storage right down here, as well as you got your speakers down there. Now right here, you do have your vents, and you can open them and turn them whichever which way, which is really nice, so you can have it blowing wherever you want. You have your controls over your lights here, so you got your daytime running lights, you got your uh, regular nighttime lights, and then you got off as well as you have uh, your high beams there as well. Now we got our keys, so keys in the ignition, foot on the brake, and start her up. Now in the center here, we do have our speedometer and our odometer, as well as our gas gauge and our oil temperature. We do also have what gear we're in there, and you can change it from the kilometers to your trip A and B, as well as you can see uh, the temperature outside. And now that is controlled right from here. So you got your step and your reset. The step does change what it says on there. And you got your horn in the middle and then you got your cruise control options on this side. This is the control for your windshield wiper as well as you can uh, turn it for your rear windshield wiper. In the center here, you do have your radio. So you got on and off as well as you have your seat forward and back. You got your uh, CD player in the middle there. You also have your AM and your FM. You can uh, choose to your, go to your disc or your aux cord if you do have one plugged in. Plus you can go forward and rewind. You can change your time from up there and then you got your presets down here. Now right there is your, your plug-in for your aux cord and this guy is your uh, select in the options or your uh, audio selector so you can change the channels. Over here you do have your power for your air up and down as well as in to change your circulation. You got your AC there as well as your heat or your cold. And then you also have where it's gonna blow out of, plus you have your uh, defrost there. Now this is your on and off for your traction control. So if uh, it, when it, with the traction control, uh, when it feels slipping, it does turn off the engine uh, briefly so that it can uh, maintain control, which is really helpful, especially in winter. Uh, and then you also have your hazard lights there. You also have a 12 volt charger the right there. And you do have your gear shift here. So foot on the brake, pull it to the side, down and up. Over here you do have two cup holders as well as your e-brake and then this is your shifter down here for your four wheel lock. Now for your e-brake you just push in the brake, grab it, press the button, pull it up or push it down. Over here you do have your armrest so it does go forward and back so you can put it exactly where you want. And you can press the button and open it up and then there is some storage in there. As well as there's a second button here, you press that and you lift that one up and then there's more right down there. You do have two glove boxes, so you got the one up here without the front or without the door on it. And then you also got this guy down here with your owner's manual in it. Okay, coming around the back here, we just open this guy up. And on the door here, they do have control over their windows, of course, plus a little bit of storage down here. And they actually have quite a bit of leg room, so it's kind of like uh, indented there. So they have a lot of room down there, as well as they do have their own cup holders over here. If you want to fold the seat forward and give yourself some more room, you just pull on this guy and then you can fold them forward just like that and you can do it with the other side as well. Well, that does it for my walk around video, the 2015 Jeep Patriot. If you guys wanna come down and take a closer look or take it for a test drive yourself, come on down to Northland Dodge and Prince George and talk to one of our sales specialists. Thanks for watching.